Hey what is going on guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different so I'm going to be showing you a few tips to help you do better in the draft basically because I know a lot of people are put off playing the draft just because you know if you don't get past the first what, first round or even two rounds um, you can get pretty bad prizes um, like just two gold packs and a silver pack or something like that um, so I'm basically just going to show you a few tips to, um, make you do, to help you do better basically so um, the first one, and I'd say this is the most important one, is the formation. You basically want to choose a formation with four players at the back and uh, lots of central players as well. This is just about my opinion, to be honest. Uh, I know some people may disagree, but it's just what I found works best. Um, so for example, the 4-2-2-2, like here, um, you know, it's got right backs, left backs, obviously, which is very useful because, you know, if you come up against teams, which you often will do, with um, three attacking players like a right winger and a left winger and a striker um, they often have very good players you know you usually have like Messi up against you and Ronaldo and Suarez so it's very helpful to have a right back and a left back um, just so that you don't get outnumbered at the back basically um, you also have the two CDMs which just covers in front of the back four makes your defence even more solid as well as the two attacking midfielders to help you going forward and then obviously the two strikers as well. Another formation I find that works well is like a 4-3-1-2. So another formation which has like um, lots of central midfielders. And um, yeah, it's just a very solid formation to be honest. Um, very similar to the 4-2-2-2. Um, and it's yeah, really good formation which I think you should choose if you are going to do the draft. Just try not to choose ones which have three at the back or even five at the back just because you know even if you play five at the back sometimes I find the left wing backs and right wing backs act as like actual mid right midfielders or left midfielders so you can get caught out at the back with um with the th with only the three centre backs there. So yeah that's the main um that's the main tip for number one. Um, number two I would say player instructions is probably the second most important thing. I don't I'm not sure if many people really know about this. Um, but you can change the player instructions um, on the draft as well. So like for example this 4-2-2-2 formation, I always have the left back as stay back while attacking as well as the right back just to, to you know, keep the defence solid basically um, so you don't get caught on the break or anything like that. I also have the two CDMs on stay back while attacking for the same reasons, you know, just to keep the defence solid and so you're conceding fewer goals. As for the attacking midfielders, you can sort of just change this up to sort of how you play basically. So um, you could tell them to push wider or you know whatever instructions you can change. It doesn't really matter. I just have them all on balance, um, just so that they're not like always staying in one position, so they're not always wide or always inside too much. Um, and as for the strikers, I usually have them both on stay central, so they don't play like you know wingers. Um, and also I have one on getting behind as well, just so that he can get three balls and all that stuff um, from the other striker basically. Um, so yeah, these are the main player instructions I have and I'd say that is tip number two, to basically just change the player instructions to make your team solid and to suit the formation in which you're playing basically. Um, and then the final tip I would say, I'm sure many of you, most or most of you would probably already know this, but I do come up against teams with very bad chemistry. And um, basically it just helps loads if you can build a team around a certain league. So I know most people build teams around the um, league of BBVA just because you know they usually have the best players. Um, in this team I've made a sort of hybrid because this is a pretty good formation for making um, like hybrids with, with two leagues. Um, so yeah basically just choose players um, all from one league instead of like choose the best players from uh, all different leagues because I always find if you have a team with very bad chemistry they always tend to play a bit sort of sluggishly they always seem a bit slow you know they never really hit the target with their shots that's just personally um, what I find when I've played with teams with bad chemistry um, compared to ones with good chemistry like this um, so yeah they're the three main tips I'd say um, if you do all these things I think you'd probably have the best chance of doing well in the draft um, I always use these tips when I play the draft and I've won I think the last two drafts out of the last four 
so um so yeah that's today's video guys uh remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here and i will see you in the next video